So have you ever wanted to test out VR inside of Unreal Engine 5? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up your Quest 2 headset, really any VR headset with Unreal Engine 5.1. I'll show you how to get your VR headset set up with Unreal Engine in less than 10 minutes. And I'll even show you how to import a custom map into the VR template, either one that you've made or one that you get off the Unreal Engine marketplace. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So the first thing that you need to do to get started with VR in Unreal Engine is if you're using the Oculus Quest 2, you need to go ahead and download the Oculus desktop app for your computer. So if you head over to meta.com and you just click the download software, it will go ahead and download that application. And we're going to be using the Air Link. So it's completely wireless. You don't need a cable to hook up your Oculus Quest to your computer. And it actually runs a lot smoother, in my opinion, a lot smoother than having the cable hooked up. So once you go ahead and download the Oculus desktop application, go ahead and and install it and run through the installation process. Then it will ask you to log in with your Oculus account. So go ahead and log in and it should be the same account that you use to log into your headset. So I believe now you can actually use a, a Meta account or Oculus account rather than your Facebook. Now, once you've signed in to go ahead and turn on your headset. And so you'll go through the pairing process, which is actually super easy. All you have to do is turn on your headset and Click on these settings here and go to the Quest link. So if you click on the bottom left here, it will open up the settings and you'll click on this Quest link right here. Then all you have to do is select under the available PCs. You should see the name of your computer that you have signed into the Oculus desktop app. So just go ahead and select it and then just click pair. And then what it will do is you need to confirm that the pairing code is the same on the computer. And once you go ahead and confirm that on the computer, you just click continue and you're basically all paired up your headset to the Oculus desktop application. So the next thing that you need to do is you need to go ahead and download Steam VR. You can play any sort of package Unreal Engine VR game or you can play directly in the editor using Steam VR. So make sure you have a Steam account. Go ahead and log in. And once you've logged in and opened up Steam, you just go to the store and search for Steam VR. It's a free. You don't have to pay for anything like that. Then go ahead and download and install it. I think it's about two gigs of download. Then you want to go ahead and click launch. So you want to open this and leave it open if you're going to test out VR inside of Unreal Engine. Now let's go ahead and create our actual Unreal Engine VR project. So I'm going to launch Unreal Engine 5.1 and I'm going to choose under the games, the virtual reality template here and then go ahead and just click create. So now here we are in the VR template in order to play test this. If you click the three dot icons at the top here, you're going to see that we have the VR preview and it's all grayed out. So we want to make sure that this is green in order for us to play test it or have it not grayed out. So what you need to do in order to do that is you want to make sure you have first the Oculus desktop application open. And second, you also want to make sure that you have Steam VR open. So make sure that you launch Steam VR. And then you want to go ahead and put on your headset, go to your settings, Quest Link, select your computer here and just click launch. So this will launch the Quest Link application on your headset. So basically this means that you are good to go on the headset. We can now head over to our computer you want to make sure that again you have Steam VR open. Then you just need to close your Unreal Engine project and reopen it. And once you reopen it, if you go to the three buttons drop down, you should now see that the VR preview button right here is not grayed out. So now if you click on it, it will launch automatically the VR preview in standalone. And so now we can actually test out the VR inside of Unreal Engine 5.1. So this is streamed using the Air Link wirelessly to the Oculus Quest headset. And yeah, you can just play through the template here. It's really easy to get this all set up. Like I said, all you need is the Oculus desktop app, Steam VR, and a copy of Unreal Engine. And with the wireless, usually I don't really have any issues with it. I mean, there's a little bit of stuttering in the recording but actually playtesting it it works completely fine so this will be super great for testing out VR if you just want to get up and running 
as fast as possible. Now to add your own custom map to the VR template, it's actually super easy. So we're going to add a free marketplace map. So if you head over to the marketplace and go to free, permanently free collection, we have this really nice stylized Asian village map. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. It's free. And we're going to go ahead and add it to our VR project. Okay, so once it's downloaded here, we can go ahead and open up the map. And really all that you need to do to set up a different map for VR is the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go ahead and just it says build landscape physical material. So I'm just going to build all landscape here. And then we also have this post process effect here. So I'm just going to search for the post process real quick and just delete that. Now to actually set this up for VR, what you want to do is you want to go to your window, your world settings. So if you don't have the world settings, you want to go to window and open up the world settings window. And in the world settings, you want to set the game mode. So click on the game mode override here. And you want to set this to the VR game mode. So that it will have, you know, the VR pawn controller and all that stuff. Then all we need to do is click on the Q plus icon. And under the all classes, we need to add a nav mesh bounds volume. So the nav mesh bounds volume will allow your character to teleport and move in VR around the map. So go ahead and drag that into the level and just scale it up so it fits the entire map. So I'll just set this to 200 by 200 by 200. Then all you have to do is save that and you should be able to test this all out. So as long as you have your headset on, it's awake. You can click on the preview or play this level in VR. And it'll go ahead and launch the map in standalone as you can see here. So we can go ahead and look around and teleport. And if you set up your navigation all right, or all correct, you should be able to teleport within the level and move around normally like you would be in any sort of VR game. So yeah, as you can see, this is a very simple tutorial on how you can very easily get set up with VR inside of Unreal Engine 5.1. Like I said, all you need is the Oculus Desktop app, Steam VR, and you can get up and running in really under 10 minutes. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In another video, I'll have to show you guys how you can set up Nanite and Lumen inside of VR. It's still not technically production ready, but if you have a decent computer setup, you can play around with it in VR, and it's pretty fun to mess around with. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. If you want to see more tutorials and content, make sure you subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have you ever wanted to make a multiplayer survival game? Well now you can. I just released my Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer Steam survival game course where I show you how to make a complete survival game from start to finish. This course is currently in early access, but if you enroll today, you'll get a big early access discount. So take your game development skills to the next level by enrolling in this course. The link will be in the description below, or you can head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to check out the course. So with that being said, hope to see you guys there.